Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing week. Before we get to Mike's awesome video, just want to talk quickly about these headlights I got. They are the best LED headlights I've ever tried in my life. High beams work amazing. Low beams, amazing. They're not blotchy, nothing. And another really cool thing is when you order them, you can watch the shipping from the time you order them to your house. It's all live, updated. There's no guesswork on when they're coming. It was perfect. Open up the box. You had gloves, zap straps, like everything you need to put these lights in. Packaging was perfect. Everything. Make sure to check them out. I'm gonna put a link in the description. You will not be disappointed. again today got the dogs with me i don't know if you can see it back there but we're hitting a local mountain in town we got that wicked view there you guys can see how it's a glare but yeah so we're just gonna go up here i know there's an old tower thingy up here i don't really know much about it but i'm gonna check that out and there's this thing called oh got some people here hey guys Hi. all right Go walking their dogs, but um, as like an old, we were told it's like a CN tower or something up here, and then there's a thing called Ramp Rock. Everybody's been doing it. It's a cool thing to do right now. Go up there to park on it, take a picture. So I've been up here a million times, but I've actually never seen this rock. So I'm gonna go see if I can find it. And uh, yeah, it's just more for the views, I think, than anything. They'll come up here, like you can see all of Chilliwack on one side. We can go up there. over on the other side. You can see all of Harrison Lake and that. So. It's really, really nice. It's a beautiful day. It's five degrees right now, sunny. Still no snow anywhere. So like normally you couldn't even get out all the way up here at this time of year, but there's not a trace of snow anywhere. Just keeps climbing and climbing. We've gone a kilometer and a half, I think up here. We've already ganged just about 400 meters in elevation. It's a busy place. I've already passed a whole bunch of people up here. A couple of really small lakes up here as well. Chill it down there. It's really hard to see. I'll see that glare. Alright, here we go this trail here. Hold on, trail anymore, but uh, this is a spot where everybody goes hang gliding all the time. Trail, trail's a little rough coming in. Sometimes we get a little farther up those seas, but uh, yeah, I thought I see the view from there. Let's go check out this wicked view. Oh, here we are. Again, that sun's gonna make everything kind of glare, but you get the idea. <laughs> There's the Fraser River. And it turns into Harrison River over there, then goes to Harrison Lake. I've been up here so many times and it just never ever gets old. Absolutely love it. 
the stars of the channel. Still a little shy, still alive and kicking. Don't take him out too much anymore. Usually, uh, can't handle it. He's 15 years old now, so back legs and that get a little sore when he gets out and does things, but couldn't leave him home today. Well, got my biggest upgrade that I was looking forward to when I got this thing. I got my tent. I haven't tried it yet. Super stoked. Can't wait to try it. Yeah, I've got a, got a few adjustments left to do on it. I, uh, I don't like how much it hangs off the back. So I'm gonna raise my rack up just a little bit so I can slide it forward. It's just about there, but I don't know if I want it quite that much higher. So I might drill a hole here and here or something just to, so I don't go, don't go quite as high, but I'm probably gonna lose that rack on the top there too. I'm not at 100% yet, but I probably will. Oh, I'll tire me get here. <laughs> But yeah, I'm super, super stoked. Can't wait to try it out. We were gonna try it out last night, but we were on a big long road trip and by the time we got home, was, we were tired, we were already driving all day. So just decided to probably maybe next weekend or something, we'll try it out, but yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> I must have graded that spot at one point in time because uh, yeah, they didn't even need a four-wheel driver. I think you know there's almost no ruts. I've seen people get stuck there four-wheel drive trying to get out, so they obviously made the road a little bit better. Well, here's the trail that goes that like little know, cabin communication thing, whatever the heck it is. But now they're logging up here, of course, like everything else. Well, let's see if we can actually get there or not now. Well, this was such a nice trail to for. Well, the thing is, I don't even recognize it anymore. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way, but I guess we'll try this trail. <laughs> well, I feel like this is the right way because I don't remember this at all, but. Well, I actually think we are the right trail because I just recognized this spot here. That was looks really nice in the summertime with all the leaves and everything. Well, follow it anyways, it's all part of the adventure. Yeah, we're definitely going the right way because so I recognize that, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, last time I came up here was actually last winter, I think. I wasn't able to get here because they're probably in May, I think, and it was still like four or five feet of snow up here. And it is now January 1st, so zero snow. Oh, there it is. Check it out, slip on the inside. I, mean, I don't know if that's still on service or not, but at least some sort of satellite thing. Or... Well, communications, I guess I should say. Oh, yeah. here. I don't see much. Oh, there's not really much to see. That's garbage. Rice balls. If anybody knows what this was actually used for, let us know in the comments because I'm actually really, really curious. Oh, didn't let them out because I knew it was going to be long, but <laughs> they're like, what are you doing, Dad? What you guys doing in there?
Yeah, I think this is pretty much the highest point in this mountain. I think we're like right around a thousand meters. So it's not like a super big mountain around here, but not for BC terms anyways. Yeah, check that out. Oh, let's go continue exploring. See if we can find this ramp rock. I don't think you're an overlander until you actually park on that, so. <laughs> And go check out the couple little lakes that are up here. So I mentioned earlier how there's lakes up here. Uh, they're small lakes, obviously, but uh, I knew where two of them were. And there was a there was a third one that I've been looking for for probably almost ten years. I've never been able to found it, find it, and I just found it. Um, I actually didn't get it on camera, but um, I don't think there's a way to actually get to it. But the trail is going up to that communication place there. I look through the trees, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> So that was kind of a cool find. Looks like you could probably hike down to it, but yeah, I don't like hiking today. So I think next time I'll probably bring my wife up here and uh, cause I know she's trying to help me find it a few times too and show her where it is. So just down this trail right here is the first lake. I believe it's called Stacy Lake, I think. It's popular for fish in that, they stalk the lake. But I do know how hard it is to turn around up there. I've done it in my JK and that, and I feel like doing it with a longer wheelbase and all that. I mean, I could know if you do it, it's just, it's gonna be like a 20 point turn. So there's another one up here that I've been to once or twice and I want to check it out again because I really, really want to go camping there. And it's what I remember, I think it's a pretty sweet spot. So I'll have to check it out. Nice, you just come out of the trees and this view. Oh, there's a little bit of ice on there actually. Oh, well, do you guys think they want out? <laughs> I'll let them out, we'll run around for a bit, and go see if we can find that ramp rock. <laughs> there's a little rutted out spot. I tried a two wheel. <laughs> Guess I'll put it in four. I've actually 
been, obviously been up here a whole bunch of times to this spot. I've actually never noticed this thing. <laughs> but this is what all the cool kids are doing, so I guess I gotta do it too. I did what all the other people have been doing. <laughs> kind of neat actually though. It's 21 degrees, so it's actually not as steep as I thought. Take a little farther, I didn't know how much I had left on that side. Pretty cool though. Kind of a cool little spot. So there's Harrison Lake down there. <laughs> Such a nice view. Just to the trees, you could just see Harrison down there, like the village of Harrison. Definitely lucky to live where I do. Hear that nice new noisy engine. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> 